Hey, good morning, guys. It's uh, Thursday morning. I'm redoing this video for the second time. For some reason, I sat there and did a whole seven-minute video only to find out that only like three minutes of it actually recorded. I must have accidentally hit the button and not even known it. But uh, so anyway, I'm going to do this video again. As I said, Thursday morning, weather is crappy. Yay, another crappy day in Jersey. Um, it's cloudy, it's rainy, it's overcast, it's drizzling, it's, you know, it's like coldish. Uh, not my favorite weather in the world, but, uh, you know, whatever. Deal, right? Deal. Got it. Um, anyway, today's vlog topic uh, is weather-related in a way. Uh, it's about uh, aches and pains and stuff like that. I know I've talked about my physical ailments before. I know I've, I've asked about your ailments before, but I felt kind of relevant and topical seeing how I feel like shit today. Um, uh, I am one of those people who are very affected by the weather. Uh, when it's, you know, when the barometric pressure changes and it's going to rain, I feel it, man. I'll tell you what, even though it was really nice out yesterday, I was really sore. I was having my knees were hurting, my shoulders were hurting, my shoulders, well, uh, my back is hurting. Uh, today, my shoulder is absolutely killing me. Uh, and I have some sinus pressure going on today. I don't know if it's from the weather or what. I woke up with a headache and I hate that. You know, you wake up and you already have that headache. Hopefully that will clear up here soon. Um, but I want to talk a little bit about uh, you know, bones and breaking bones and that kind of thing. Um, I broke my collarbone as a, when I was a little kid. I was probably about three, I guess. I really don't remember my grandmother would know because supposedly I did it on her birthday. Um, but I don't really remember that. Uh, I broke the lower orbital of my eye in a bar fight. Um, some of you guys know my best friend Rob. He was actually with me when that happened. Um, I got hit with a beer bottle. Um, let's see. I've broken pretty much all my fingers and all my toes playing football. Uh, I chipped my hip once playing football. Uh, that's about it as far as broken bones go. I mean, I've, I've torn ligaments and tendons and muscles. Um, I've, uh, I've ruptured joints. I've torn you know, dislocated and all that kind of stuff. So I've been pretty rough on my body and consequently my body lets me know. Physically, my body's like 30 years older, at least that's what my doctors told me, like my shoulders and whatnot, because of the, the, the injuries I have. Um, I do have arthritis in my shoulder and he said, you know, that's just to be expected with all the damage I've had. Keep in mind that uh, next Wednesday will be my fifth shoulder surgery, I think. So yeah, I've, I've been, you know, working that one good um, but you know talking about the weather and talking about ailments and you know that and whatnot it made me think about breaking bones which made me think about Rob my best friend uh, Rob and I both played football we never really got a chance to square off against each other and the one time that we did I wanted to make it count um, unfortunately I made it count I guess a little too well Rob ended up getting his leg broken um, which at the time, you know, as a, as a kid in junior high school, I thought that was pretty funny. Now I look back and I think, man, what a jerk I was. Um, but I actually took that to the next level, jerkiness, because after Rob broke his leg, he had a cast on, and uh, we were doing a Boy Scout event, because Rob and I were Boy Scouts as well, and we stopped at a Pizza Hut, and I actually poured hot peppers down his cast, and... Uh, they, they burned him. I mean, when he got his cast off, he had little red marks on his leg from where the hot peppers were. And I just want to say, Rob, I'm sorry. Um, you know, I, that was a jerky kid thing to do. And I was a jerky kid. Although I still think it's funny. <laughs> I love you, man. You know I do. Um, I've had cast, guys. I know how bad that sucks. It seems like I've lived half my life in a cast, a sling, a splint, a brace, or something of that nature. So, I mean, I completely sympathize for anybody who has had that or had to have that. So, uh, today's topic is about that. Let me know how you feel. Uh, you know, are you one of those people that, you know, your body aches and pains with the weather? Or you ache all the time? Uh, do you have any specific ailments? You know, let me know. You know, let's talk about it. You know, there's people in the groups. Maybe people have uh, tips or tricks on how to feel better without having to ingest things that you shouldn't. Because I don't do that, ever. Really, I don't. Um, anyway, um, also I want to talk real quick about the concert. Um, Any Man in America tour kicked off last night, uh, officially. And 
I feel really bad that I'm not there because, man, I really want to be there. Uh, I, I do like supporting the band, Blue October. Um, I do like being a part of that community, and I just wish I would have been there to, to, to support that tour. Uh, yes, as Gina keeps pointing out to me, uh, she and I will both be there for the East Coast leg, supporting you know, and doing our part there. Uh, but, you know, just something about it, man, I wish I could be there for all of them. Uh, however, I haven't heard or seen too much about the concert, so if anybody who watches the vlog uh, sees this, uh, let us know. Yeah, as of 7.30 this morning, I really didn't see a whole lot up there. I know, I think April Rhodes had said that uh, it was a really good concert. I'm very interested to see how the new music translates to a live performance. Um, I know that uh, the last tour obviously was acoustic and this is like the polar opposite the bipolar opposite maybe um <laughs> and uh, i want to know how this you know produced and sampled music translates into the live show uh leave me comments down below as always i want to thank all my supporters friends and family out there you guys are the reason i do this you know but you're my my reason um to regina i love you samantha i'm glad i got to talk to you last night uh, be seeing you tomorrow night uh one more day till the weekend guys hold fast it'll be here soon also i want to shout out to, uh, to bob porter and cassie porter um uh, their daughter april is going is starting kindergarten today so we're all very proud of her bob hold the line things will get better um everybody else out there have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you again real soon